Hello, I'm Peter Rogers. You're about to see a television film called Carry On Christmas, which we made in 1969 with all the Carry On gang, which was a very happy occasion for us, and I hope it is for you too. Get out of the way. Somebody cutting up the pavement. Go on, get out of all your blooming Christmas presents. Yes, Mr. Scrooge. How about a little something for Christmas, then? That's the best offer I've had today. <laughs> That's my only means of support. Oh, well, you won't need that one, will you? <laughs> I'm a nasty bit of work, aren't I? <laughs> Christmas. You can have it. What a waste of time. Everybody stuffing themselves stupid, shoving up decorations. You'd think I'd find something better to do, like forging pension books or something. <laughs> I'm going up to Kip till it's all over. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Her most gracious majesty, Queen Victoria, wishes all her loyal subjects a merry Yuletide. Oh, and here is a message from the burghers of London. Silly burghers. <laughs> Pay your taxes by January the 1st, stop complaining about a congestion in the streets, give to the poor, and enjoy yourselves. Knickers! <laughs> It was a funny smell. <laughs> I'll thump you. I'm going off to bed, you fool. Oh, uh, Mr. Scrooge, is it all right if I go off now? Yeah, as soon as you put all the books in alphabetical order, clean away the cobwebs, polish your floor, and wash your windows. And a Merry Christmas to you. But, Mr. Scrooge, it'll take me a whole week to get through that lot. In that case, scrub the Merry Christmas, make it Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Scrooge, please, Mr. Scrooge. Uh, Things haven't been too good lately, and, well, with it being Christmas, I was wondering, could you make a little advance to me? Not only long and stupid, but bent to boot. <laughs> Please, Mr. Scrooge, think of my poor wife at home waiting for it. Don't be filthy. <laughs> we haven't got a penny piece, and we're having my uncle from Australia for dinner. Well, what are you complaining about? You'll go down a treat with some onions and a bit of gravy? <laughs> Mean old skinflint. Oh, what's to become of us? What are we going to do? <laughs> Dear sir, or madam, as the case may be, I've never asked you for anything much, 
Except that time before we was married and Doris thought she was in trouble. <laughs> and even then you couldn't have heard me. <laughs> I now humbly beseech you to kindly send us something to warm our bellies and give us a bit of cheer this Christmas. Hoping for an early reply, I am your obedient servant, etc. Bob Cratchit. P.S. If you haven't heard me this time, let me know and I'll repeat it. <laughs> um, Mr. Cratchit. Yes, that's right. I say you have got a narrow entrance. <laughs> Special delivery. Lucky you are. OK, Joe. Something to warm your bellies and bring you comfort this Christmas. He heard me. Declared. <laughs> no, perhaps not. <laughs> Christmas, what a waste of time. You can have that and your Christmas turkey and stuff it. <laughs> ah. Flipping plumbers. Three weeks ago, they promised to fix that system. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> oh, fiddly dee. <clears throat> oh, I say. much longer have I got to stand here moaning and claggy with chains before I get any attention? Who are you? I am the spirit of Christmas past. Well past, if you ask me. <laughs> if you please, I say. <clears throat> Do you mind if I get rid of these? <clears throat> you, you dropped one. Don't be ridiculous. Oh. <laughs> That's a spare. 